welcome to the house of God. Let us just stand up and praise the Lord. And just um, lift up our voices unto the Lord and commit this session into His hands. Those of you who know how to pray in the Spirit, just lift up your voices. Lift up your voices. And those of you who, are, who do not know, you can just meditate on the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father, we thank you for your presence here today, Father Lord. Thank you, Father Lord, that you are going to do mighty work today, Father Lord. Thank you, Father Lord, that today you're going to walk in our midst, Lord. And you're going to touch each and every person, Father Lord. We thank you, Lord, that your presence, Lord, today will free your children who are here and who are listening online. We'll free them, Father Lord, from every kind of oppression, Father Lord. We'll free them, Lord, from every kind of trouble that they are facing, Father Lord. Lord, your presence, Lord, will bring peace into their hearts, Father Lord. Just as your word in your word in John 14, 27 says, Peace, I live with you. My peace, I give you. Yes, Lord, not as the world gives, do I give you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Oh, Father, today help us, Lord, to not let our hearts be troubled, no matter what situation we face, Lord. No matter what comes our ways, Father, but just to look up at you, Lord, and to just... Lord, surround us, Lord, with your peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord. As we look up at you, Father, Lord, Lord, you will just pour your peace on us, Lord. We just want to thank you, Father. We want to thank you, Father. We want to thank you, Lord. You are a good, good God, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We lift up, Lord, the worship team into your mighty hands, Father, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing, Lord. Lord, we pray today, Lord, that this worship team, Lord, we worship you, Lord, like never before, Lord. They lift up their voices with all their hearts and soul, Lord. They worship you, Father, Lord. Not only this worship team, but every person present here, every person listening online, Father, Lord. Lord, we worship you, Lord, with all our hearts and soul, with all minds and strength, Father, Lord. We thank you for your protection over each and every person, Father, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the protection, Lord, over every device, every equipment lord over the internet we thank you father lord for your hand for your covering lord we commit this session into your mighty hands father lord lord we commit each and every person here present lord today lord and also those listening online father lord we thank you father lord that you remove their spiritual blindness today father lord lord you open their eyes to see you open their ears to hear you lord and open their hearts father to receive lord Lord, today you reveal your word to them, Father, Lord. You reveal your word and set them free, Father, Lord. And set them free, Father, Lord. Reveal the truth, Father, Lord. And the truth is the only thing that will set them free, oh, Father, Lord. Oh, Father, Lord. We thank you, Father, Lord, that each and every person that's present here, that's listening online, is going to be blessed, super blessed, oh, Father, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you, Lord, for our preacher this morning, Father, Lord. The man of God that came to give the word, Father, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Father, Lord, that you have put the word into his mouth, Lord. That every word that proceeds out of his mouth, Father, Lord, shall not return void, but accomplish all its purpose, oh, Father, Lord. We thank you, Father, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you for your anointing, anointing on our speaker this morning, Father, Lord. Can we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise, Lord? In Jesus' most precious name, we pray in us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We well, bless the name of the Lord this morning for such a beautiful morning. Amen. Uh, David said that I was glad when they said that to me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. So this morning, I want you to rejoice and be glad in it this morning. Amen. If you are here with me, say hallelujah. I can't hear somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. So this morning, we're going to do a very simple song. Say, I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Okay. Yes, so let's try. It's very simple. Say, I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. You say, I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. I know his name. I know his name, his name is wonderful. I know his name. Everybody. I know his name. Come on. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. Wait. I know his name. I know his name. His name is Prince of Peace. I know his name. Come on. I know his name. I know his name. His name is Prince of Peace. I know his name. I know his name, I know his name, his name is great I am, I know his name, come on. I know his name, everybody come on. I know his name, his name Let's is go. great I am, I know his name. I know his name, I know his name, his name is wonderful, I know his name, everybody come on. I know his name, do you know him, come on. I know his name, Hallelujah. his name is wonderful, I know his name. I know his name, I know his name, his name is Prince of Peace, I know his name. I know his name, I know his name, his name is Prince of Peace, I know his name. I know his name, I know his name, his name is great I am, I know his name. If you know the name of the Lord, lift your voice and begin to sing. His name is great I am, I know his name. I say I know his name, I know his name, his name is wonderful, I know his name. I know his name, I know his name, his name is wonderful, I know his name. Oh, I know his name, I know his name, his name is Prince of Peace, I know his name. Everybody lift your voice and bless the name of the Lord. His name is Prince of Peace, I know his name. His name is great I am, I know his name. I know his name, I know his name, his name is great I am, I know his name. I know his name, I know his name, his name is wonderful, I know his name. I know his name, I know his name, his name is wonderful, I know his name. Oh, I know his name, come on, I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. I know his name. I, I want you to lift your voice and bless the name, name of the Lord. Is wonderful. I know his name. Oh, I know his name. I know his name. His name is great. I am. I know his name. I know his name. I know his name. His name is great. I am. I know his name. Oh. His name is wonderful. I know his name. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know. I want to hear you. Come on. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. Yeah, you are doing good. Come on. I know his name, I know his name, his name is great I am, I know his name. I know his name, I know his 
Now you get it. I want you to lift your hands as you're singing. One, two, three, come on. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know. Everybody, come on. His name is wonderful. I know his name. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. Come on. I want you to put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Everybody clap your hands for Jesus. Come on. of me that you hear me when I call is it true that you are thinking of me how you love me it's amazing it's amazing who am I say who am I that you are mindful of me Woo! that you hear me when I, when I call. Is it true that? Is it true that you are thinking of me that you love me? Let's go.
on, declare one more time. One, two, come on. God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called me friend. God of my Jesus. God Almighty, oh. Lord of glory, you have called me friend. One more time. Close your eyes and lift your hands. Let nothing distract you this moment. Let's give all the honor to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You, Lord, you are worthy. worship you for me for all the things you've done for me and no one can worship you for me here's my worship all of my worship, receive my worship, all of my worship, you Lord say. Done for me. 
to lift your hands to the Lord. Lift your hands to the Lord. Oh, no one can worship, can you. worship you for me. Everybody in this room, like, come on, lift your It's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my. Receive my But it is true, lift your hands to the Lord. He's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. this morning worship you one more time one more time and I will not be I will worship you oh yes Lord I 
to worship you, God. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Yes, Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Would you lift your hands? You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. Can I hear all about this room? Come on. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you. We give you glory, Lord. As we, as we honor you. Somebody, come on. As we
Lord. You are wonderful. Come on, sing to the Lord. Can I hear you? Come on! Yeah! what is going around the world, even Ukraine right now, people cannot get the opportunity to enter to the house of the Lord like this. It's a privilege to be here. Amen. Can you lift your two hands to the Lord? Bible said in Exodus 15 11, after Moses and the Israelites was able to go through the Red Sea, after they crossed the Red Sea, in 11 Moses left a song. There is a song there. He said, Who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Among the gods, who is like thee? You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. They look behind them and how Pharaoh and his men chasing them. And how they were, was able to escape. They just lift up their hands and worship. And give glory to the Lord. This morning, can you lift your two hands to the Lord? Wherever you are. Even if you are online, wherever you are, just lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Don't look at your left or your right. Just focus on the Lord Jesus. Come on, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Open up your heart. Lift your hands to the Lord. Lift your hands to the Lord. Let your hands to the Lord and they sing the song. Say, Who is like unto thee? Oh, oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh, oh Lord, among the gods, among the gods, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, do we wonders, hallelujah. Among the gods, hey, among the gods, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful. In praising, do we wonders among the gods? Among the gods, who is like you? Oh, 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 oh,
Time. Can you lift your hands to the Lord? I'm on the gods. Come on. I'm on the gods. I'm on the gods. Who is like thee? Glorious in holiness. Fearful. Can you sing it now? Can you lift your voice? Come on. Your two hands lift up. Can I give you 20 seconds to lift your voice and begin to worship the Lord? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Somebody, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Ah, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Sing in the language of respect. Come on. Yes. 
Now wherever you are, let every place, let everything be silent praise of the Lord. Come on. Among the gods, among the gods, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah, among the gods. Among the gods, who is like thee, glorious. Now, can you wave your hands like this? Fearful. Yes. Just wave your hands. Just wave your hands. Come on. Oh, come on. Just wave your hands, Lord. He's here. Come on. Let's wave your hands to him. Among the gods. Among the gods. Thank you, Lord. Among the gods. We bow before you, Lord. There is no one like you, oh God. Glorious in holiness. If We welcome you in this place. We welcome you in this place. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Amen. We thank you for your presence. We thank you. We thank you. We give you glory, Lord. In Jesus' name. Can you clap your hands? Come on, continue. Clap your hands and welcome the chairman.
Sabbath Life Assembly Sunday English Service. Before we commence, let's uh, pray for tithes and offering. I can see. Heavenly Father, you are the giver of all good things, and your work makes clear that every good and perfect gift comes from you. We ask that you accept this gift and give them to your glory. May this gift be shelter to the homeless, comfort to the sick, rest to the weary, and hope to the hopeless. Just as you multiply the offering of fish and the loaf that were freely given for others, we pray that you would multiply these, our offerings to you, and accomplish with them more than we could ask or imagine. We give freely and not from compulsion, for there is nothing we could give that matches your glory and majesty. And the great gift of your Son, Jesus, and of the Holy Spirit, which guides us daily. All we have is yours, Father, and we ask that you would use us and all we have as you will. Amen. Thank you and praise the Lord. Any newcomers for our first time here? Or anyone who would like to share a brief any testimony? Okay, then we uh, should begin with the announcement of the week. A quick one. On Monday fr from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., we have online main mass service. Please contact Peter Ang for further information. On Tuesday, 8 p.m., we have a Chinese Bible study with the Pastor Dr. Kwan via Zoom. On Wednesday, we have a physical combined prayer meeting at 8 p.m. over here. Thursday, 8 p.m., we have online revival meeting with Pastor Gurmit Singh. And sunrise prayer encounter will be on every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. via Zoom. As for the Marketplace Fellowship Ministry, from Monday to Saturday at Kwan's Specialist Medical Center, 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Brother and sister, as a Christ follower, we always call to show and express kindness and love. Under Saramban Life Assembly, Evangelism and Social Welfare Ministry, we are able to do this by helping the generally poor and the needy. At the same time, we can share the Christ's love and gospel and financial assistance and spiritual help will be given. If you encounter anyone who needs this, kindly contact our brother Tony Chan and brother Johnny Lau. And brother and sister, one of the best feelings of happiness is to ensure better care of the elderly. Under Saramban Life Assembly, Adulam Care Centre. This is a nursing, a Christian nursing home who takes care, looks after the sick, aged, at the same time, share gospel to them as well. It is fall under Saramban Life Assembly Love and Care Ministry. As for the English Life Group, which is on every Friday, 8 p.m., we are going to start it very soon. Please wait for the official announcement. And for brothers and sisters who are not able to be here and would like to do the tax and offering via online banking, you can issue a check or online transfer in the name of Saraman Life Assembly, Bernhardt, account number OCBC, account number 740-1147-484. Brothers and sisters, we have our speakers today, Pastor Derwin Philip. 
And the pastor is, uh, he is the pastor at Jesus My Rock Church. And he also minister conference in US, South Africa, Indonesia, and India. Please welcome Pastor Delvin Philip. Hallelujah. Shall we put our hands and give Jesus the glory? Come on, just keep on clapping. Give him the glory. Just give Jesus the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sramban Life Assembly is a glorious church. Won't you say an amen? This is a glorious church. And you are the glory of God. Amen. You are the church. And the Bible says the church is created to carry the glory of Jesus Christ. This is a beautiful morning. Wow. I can just sense that few years ago I was in the mountains in Srawa to preach for a conference. And it was a strong atmosphere. Of heaven, there was a strong sound of heaven. There was a voice of Jesus, the voice of Jesus, like a sound of many waters. Revelation 1 and verse 15. And I can sense the same atmosphere in Sramban Live Assembly. You know why? This is a glorious church. Atmosphere shift now. The atmosphere that you are in can take you to the next level. The atmosphere that you are in can turn you're not enough to more than enough. Amen. Be connected to the water. I don't know why the Holy Spirit has given me the topic of sermon this morning. For those of you who are tuned with us, through YouTube or through Facebook online, the Holy Spirit has taken over. There's open heaven in your home. Wherever you are, the voice of Jesus comes like a sound of many waters. Revelation 1 and verse 15. So you are going to hear a sound in your home. Amen. I strongly believe in this church, the Holy Spirit is the admin of the online. Amen. Miracles are happening now in Jesus' name. Even those of you who are tuned in online, I want you to share this online with your friends because you are blessed to be a blessing. Kamu adalah berkat untuk menjadi berkat untuk Tuhan. Very strong atmosphere. Hallelujah. Living waters. Thank you, Dr. Khan, Kwan, Sister Lee. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad as I'm known uh, pastor and the wife, you know, and, and the church. And every time I come, uh, the atmosphere gets stronger and stronger and stronger. That is the glory of God. You know, the glory is a movement. Amen. Won't you say in a moment, the glory moves from glory to glory. So praise God. And, and while we are worshipping, you know, living water. I want you to know, Jesus is our living water. Your body naturally carries water. Do you know that? And life on earth, we need water. Water gives life. Water gives energy. Water is like a power. It's a powerful force. The water in the river. The earth needs water. And this morning, Jesus comes as our living water. Won't you put your hand and give Jesus the praise. And the Holy Spirit represents water. Oh, recover my day. And this morning I see the word of God is like a water cleansing us. You are refreshed. You are renewed. You are revived. You are restored by the word of Jesus. 
like a sound of many waters. Hey! And I speak to Slumber Life Assembly. I'm speaking to the body of Christ in Malaysia and nations around. Because this church is like a door to the nation. Oh, Father, I speak in Jesus' name. And this is what I'm seeing in, in this church. Even while we are worshiping, like we are deep in the water. Amen. Deeper in love with Jesus. Amen. Jesus is calling us, calling this church, come deeper. In the sea, when you go deeper, how many of you love swimming here? How many of you love scuba diving? Brother, you like swimming? <laughs> how many of you love scuba diving? Amen. When you go deeper in the sea, as you go deeper, you see mysteries. Amen. You see fishes that you never see before. You see creation like never before. When you go deeper with Jesus, He will tell you secrets that you don't know. Jesus will reveal to Sramban life assembly things to come. Put your hand and give glory. This is a prophetic church. This is an apostolic church in Jesus' name. Oh, Rabata Kaba. So this is what I'm seeing. We are deeper, Dr. Kwan. We are moving deeper with Jesus Christ. Only the Holy Spirit can take you to the next level. Amen. Only the Holy Spirit can give you the increase. Oh, I'm so glad that I've taken this topic the Holy Spirit gave me. Living waters. Living water. Oh, powerful. And I'm hearing a sound of Jesus. That's why I asked the keyboardist to come and play. Because the water in this river is rising higher. Amen. Powerful. Many of you are going to receive miracles, healing in Jesus' name. You are hungry? Are you thirsty? Come to the river of life. Come to Jesus. Oh, he can quench your thirst. When he gives you the water, that is the healing water. Healing is here. Jesus is stirring the water. Wow. And when Jesus stirs, not only one is healed. All of you who believe will be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come with me to the Word of God. There are four blessings the Holy Spirit is talking about. Living water. Your spiritual life will be blessed in Jesus' name. Won't you say an amen? Those of you who are watching through online, stay tuned. Those of you watching on online got advantage. Huh? You can sit down on the bed. You can sleep on your bed. You can have coffee. You can have dosa. You can wonton me. Whatever you're doing, just be connected to the water of life. Jesus loves all. Amen. And those of you who are here, you are privileged today because Jesus is going to take you deeper. Tell to your neighbor, deeper. Deeper in prayer. This is a praying church. This church prays and flows with a river. Oh, and I see the river, the water in the river overflow. You know, water in the river is powerful. Again, I'm going to speak about living water. So you need to understand things naturally so that you can move supernatural. You understand water, you understand river. It's powerful. River connects nations after nations and nation from the north, south, east, west. As you turn into the map of the world, only river is flowing. 
Amen. River is a powerful source of transportation. River, water in the river gives life. Nations depends water in the river for their power energy. The Holy Spirit is our power. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. The Holy Spirit is our energy. Give Jesus the glory. The Holy Spirit gives you life just like a water because the Holy Spirit is in you. He is like a water. Long life, Jesus will satisfy you and show you his salvation. He is the water. Who rabata? He is the living water. He is the living water. Come with me to Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. Even as you heard the word, healing is taking place in Jesus' name. Miracles are taking place. I'm seeing many of you today, you're going to have a journey of miracles. I want you to put your hand and give Jesus the glory. I'm seeing families are united in Jesus' name. Families are coming together. When you carry the river, when you move the river, the river overflows. This is a river of love. Jesus can touch your family members. In Jesus' name, I speak family because this is a family church. Amen. Oh, recome out to him. Come with me to Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. Living water. Amen. So you can drink from Jesus today. And you drink. You want more. You want more. It's more tastier than ABC. It's more tastier than Chindo. It's more tastier than tetarik. It's more tastier than Japanese tea. I know many of you are taking Japanese tea, yeah? So all of you look so slim and nice. <laughs> Chinese tea. Hallelujah. Come with me to Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. Through this word, I declare, Tramban Life Assembly is a glorious church. Ephesians 5 and verse 26, it says that He, Jesus Christ, He is the living water. The Holy Spirit represents water. That He must sanctify and cleanse her. That He cleanse her with the washing of water by the Word. Amen. So the Word of God this morning, once again, can turn your breakdown to breakthrough, can turn mess into a message, can turn disappointment to an appointment with God, can turn test to testimony. You need the word. Amen. Hallelujah. The word of God cleanses Ramban life assembly every minute, every hour, presenting to Jesus a glorious church. Amen. Powerful. The word of God. So come to the word. You know the Bible says in the beginning the book of Genesis the spirit of God was hovering over waters. Amen. This water I'm talking about is living water. Jesus Christ. Amen. What your body need right now is the living water. No pandemic has power over your life. No Omicron has power over your life. No war has power in our life. He's omnipresent. He is the living water. Who powerful. You see very clearly, the Bible begins in water. In the book of Genesis, as a study. And where it ends, <laughs> when you turn to Revelation chapter 22, the last chapter in the Bible, what it says, come to the river of life. 
Jesus is the source of this living water. He's coming back again. Jesus is coming back for you. He's the living water. When you hold on to the source, all your resources is taken care by Jesus Christ. Won't you put your hand and give Jesus the glory? The source is the living water. All your resources for your family, for your business, for your ministry, for your workplace is taken care by the source, the living water, Jesus Christ. You can be from different nation in this nation of Malaysia. You can be from Indonesia. You can be from India. You can be from Africa. But when you have the source, the living water, regardless where you are, the river of God will flow through you. You will be prosperous in Malaysia in Jesus' name. You know why? You're connected to the source. Powerful days. So you see how powerful the Bible? Amen. And 2,000 years ago in the upper room, the Holy Spirit came like a fire. He's like a fire. And the Bible says, He's like a river. He's like a water. Wow. So just imagine, from the very beginning, the book of Genesis, the river of God was already there. And Jesus, in Jesus, river brings overflow, brings abundance, brings exceedingly abundantly above all. That's why whatever Jesus touches, it multiplies. Oh, Tekamata. So, from the book of Genesis, right up to New Testament 2,000 years ago, and here we are. 2022 just imagine I want you to understand the kingdom of God is at once and at, at once and at once the kingdom of God is never back never outdated no who says in the time of pandemic the kingdom the church went backwards who said that whose voice are you listening Amen. Whatever is happening is the plan of God. Amen. Many asked me this question as I was speaking to conference, to seminars, through Zoom meetings. Many asked me, Pastor, we've been praying and praying the last two years for the COVID-19 pandemic. Churches came together and prayed. The day we prayed, it was 20,000. When churches came together and prayed, the next day was 25,000 cases. <laughs> More churches come together and pray, Pastor, the cases is rising. We have Malaysian United Firewall. I was a part of Malaysian United Firewall. We were part of the nation's prayers came together. Nothing has changed, many question me. Nothing has changed, Pastor. Today you see through the Omicron Malaysia, Cases rises even higher. They say nothing is changed. Who told you nothing is changed? What you see has not changed. The Omicron. But we are changed in Jesus Christ. Jesus has changed our lifestyle into prayer. Put your hand and give glory to God. Jesus changes us. Don't look at the things outside. Look within you. He brings a lockdown to change us, to come deeper with Him. We are changed in the midst of Omicron. Put your hand and give glory. What matters to Jesus is your life. Your life is changed. When you change, when you look around, you see through the eyes of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says when the river started in the book of Genesis right up to the book of Revelation, this is a river of God. All battles from Genesis right up to Revelation has won by Jesus Christ. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. I want you to respond by clapping your hand. Amen. Battles are won by Jesus Christ. Battle belongs to God. Victory is yours. The Bible that I read from Genesis right up to Revelation, Jesus has won all 
battles. Whatever battle you're going through right now, spiritually, also in health, is your family going through a battle? Is your business going through a battle? In your workplace, are you going through a battle? This morning, I have a good news for you. Believe in this living water, Jesus Christ, because your battle has already won by Jesus Christ. Put your hand and give glory to Jesus. Won. W-O-N is won. Now, as you reverse this word, W-O-N is N O W. Now faith says Jesus has won my battle. Now faith. Amen. All battle is already won by Jesus when you're connected to the water of life. And this is what Jesus was trying to explain to his disciples, to the church 2,000 years ago. I am the water of life. I am the river. Who recovered when the Holy Spirit is in you, He's like a river. What happened to you? You will flow with the Holy Spirit like a river. Who oh, your prayer will flow with the Holy Spirit, and that's why I hear a sound of Jesus in this place. Sound of many waters. Put your hand and give glory. So the Holy Spirit is in you right now. He wants to take over so rivers can flow out of your life. You need to be connected to this truth. When you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Come with me to John chapter 7. I know many of you have read this scripture. I'm going to read it again. Living water, wow. Every hour, every second, every day. As you turn to the word, it's like you're drinking from Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. John chapter 7. John chapter 7, verse 38. Oh, I'm going to read from verse 37 right up to verse 39. On the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Jesus stood and cried out. It means the voice of Jesus was a voice that was destroying noises. Why Jesus stood and cried out? Because there were many noises 2,000 years ago. The enemy create noise. Noise to steal, kill and destroy. And this is where Jesus stood out and cried out with a voice. What you are hearing today is noises. Noises is bad news. The enemy uses the pandemic. The enemy uses what's happening now to create noises. Everywhere you turn, there are noises. But voice is Jesus. What are you hearing? When you have the word, the word is the voice, not a noise. Noises is bad news. You hear the noises in Europe. Just a few days ago, I was speaking to a Zoom meeting in Europe. And, and exactly the day when the war started, and many noises they are hearing, we are going to die. Many noises they are hearing. But when you have the voice, it's the voice of love. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. 2,000 years ago, he stood with a voice that he cried out. It's a voice of love. Who they come up. Jesus is faithful then. He's faithful today. He's faithful for your tomorrow. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. What you need to hold on is a voice. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I speak in Jesus' name right now. All noises. 
is gone in Jesus name you are hearing a sound of many waters read revelation and verse 15 write it down i want you to go back and read and here the bible says he who believes in me all of you are seated here believe in Jesus Christ put your hand and give Jesus the glory you believe as you respond by clapping hand you believe in Jesus Christ all those of you who are watching online come on put your hands and give Jesus the glory because you believe in Jesus Christ you have made a right decision today respond to Jesus if you don't know who is Jesus Christ he is the living water he can change your thirst today Hallelujah. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart. You know why? Jesus has taken over your body like our natural body needs water. He is the living water. The Holy Spirit can take over your body. The Holy Spirit empowers your mind. Amen. The Holy Spirit empowers your heart. He empowers your action. Oh, the Holy Spirit is your friend, is your comforter, is your helper, he is supernatural. Oh, to Kamate. I strongly believe in supernatural and that what we are experiencing. My family, the church, we are experiencing supernatural in 2022 because we choose to believe the voice of Jesus Christ. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. You see, out of your heart will flow reverse. S, reverse of living water. It means the Holy Spirit is the water. The Holy Spirit represents water, but He also is like a river. Amen. So there's a river for your family. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. There's a river for your business. There's a river for your studies. There is a river for your ministry. Rivers of living water water powerful very powerful and the bible says but this jesus spoke concerning the spirit he's talking about the holy spirit hey you see water gives life water gives energy water gives healing there are some people i i, I met them they are about 100 years 110 years in saba sarawa and they said their main source is drinking fresh water and give them healing. How much more when you drink the living water? What will happen to you? Amen. I want you to connect to water. Water in the river. Amen. You want a destiny? River gives destiny. You have destiny in Jesus Christ. Amen. So flow with the river. The water is the word of God. Jesus is the word. He is the living water. And here Jesus says, but this is spoke concerning the spirit who those believing in him would receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. So Jesus already preparing the disciple about the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Glory to God. Come with me to one or two scriptures. I'm just going to prophetically bless you with four blessings of the word. The word is like water. All you need to do is believe and you are going to see this supernatural taking place in your life. Amen. Amen. Come with me to Isaiah 44 and verse 3. Because this church is in hunger and in thirst for more of the presence of God. And, and God is going to flood this church with His presence. Amen. God is going to flood all those who are connected to online. Uh, there, there is, as soon as you connect to Sramban Live Assembly, there is the water, the river of God flowing. Amen. Come with me to Isaiah 44 and verse 3. Isaiah 44 and verse 3. Are you thirsty today? Lift up your hands by responding to God. Amen. New beginnings, new destiny, new dreams. Amen. God can do it now. Are you thirsty? Never say, I'm satisfied. Jesus is the only one can always satisfy you. 
this morning believe there is a new chapter in your life there is a new beginning god can turn your story to glory god can rewrite your story this morning who you believe you believe in jesus are you thirsty for more i want to read a new chapter in your life turn to jesus christ kula mata kahando lo monte Amen and amen for I pour water on him who is thirsty. Amen. And flood on the dry ground. I speak this church is flooded by the presence of God. The presence of God is with you and he goes before you. Oh, this church is filled with the word. That's why he pours out. This scripture is prophetically for you. And the word says, I'll pour out my spirit on your descendants. Amen. Hallelujah. That means you are blessed. Your children are blessed. Your children, children are blessed. Your generation is blessed because of the living water. It flows for your generation. Oh, Ribaba. Because you made a decision to believe in Jesus Christ. God can do a turnover for your family. The Holy Spirit is speaking to me. Maybe your family have not, come, not, have not come to know Jesus Christ. You just pray. You know why? The river can flood your home in Jesus' name. Love can flood your home. Love can flood the workplace. Maybe your best friend who does not know Jesus. The river will flow through you. Amen. Powerful days are ahead of us. Oh, Tikama, I see this church is flooded with souls in Jesus' name. Souls, harvest, even through media communication. Pastor, Dr. Kwan, even when you pray from here, miracles are happening in homes. Miracles are happening in hospitals. Miracles are happening in colleges. Oh, Tikama, Lahate. Come with me to another scripture, Isaiah 58 and verse 11. I want you to be connected every day. The water, water refreshes you, gives you the energy. Isaiah 58 and verse 11. Isaiah 58 and verse 11. When you connected to Jesus Christ, when you connected to the word, the Bible says the Lord will guide you continually. He continues us. The promises of God is yes and amen through Jesus Christ. The word is the promises of God for you. The promiser never fails. The promiser never sleep. He keeps his promise and is faithful to his promise. 2022 when you have the word it's like a water regardless what happens Omicron or pandemic or earthquake just last week Sunday a week ago I was sharing in the church and the Holy Spirit told me to prepare the church for Malaysia there's going to be double tragedy I spoke this yes just a week ago last Sunday I spoke this double tragedy. One, you're going to hear Omicron. And at the same time, there's going to be an earthquake. You're going to hear. And people are going to be in fear. But those who believe in Jesus, you'll have double blessing. Put your hand and give glory to God. I spoke this. You know what I told them? First Peter chapter 1 and verse 2 says, Come, this is for you. I told them, Grace and peace, double, will be multiplied. Will be multiplied. What you need during this time is the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Look, come with me to First Peter. First Peter chapter 1. First Peter chapter 1 and verse 2 says here, Peter, the apostle of the church, the leader of the church, who has been with Jesus, he knows. In times of war, 
and rumors of war, in times of pestilence, in times of earthquake, in times like this, all you need is grace. Grace means favor of God and the peace of Jesus to be multiplied in you so that you will not be shaken. You will be a royal priesthood. You will be a chosen generation or holy nation. You are not shaken. The peace of God has taken over. You will stand on the promises of God. Grace and peace. I told this last week. Wow. Continuously, Jesus comes. Amen. Your story never ends. It's just a new beginning for you. Today, come with me back with Isaiah 58. I'm prophetically speaking this to you. If you are blessed this morning, put your hand and give Jesus the glory. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing prophetic word for many of you are here. Towards the end, I'm just going to give you the prophetic word. But at this moment, I want you to be connected to the word. The word is your prophecy. The word of God is that prophetic word that you need. Amen. You don't need a word from me. I'm only a man. You need the word from the voice of Jesus, the word of God. Hey, Shubote. Come with me again to Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58 and verse 11. The Lord will guide you continually for 2022. Come on, the church of God, say amen. Even though you're wearing masks, come on, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. I love to see people smile. But with the mask, they cannot smile. Because 18 years, I was working in the airlines. I, I worked in the aeroplane. For 18 years, I was a senior flight attendant, works in business class and first class. And you know what is my job? Smile, senyum saja. Because of my smile, I'm paid five figure. Put your hand and give glory to God. My kaji, that time bila saya senyum. That is my job as a flight attendant. When people shout, their food is not good. Where is my water? Where is my orange? Why the chicken? There's no gravy. I just smile at them. Why the flight delay? I waited for four hours. I just smile at them. Why the turbulation? What's happening? So much of turbulation and the aircraft is going to crash. I just smile at them. That is my job. Amen. And the Bible says, Isaiah 58 and verse 11, the Lord will guide you continually. He's the Alpha who begins 2022. January? And he is the end. That means he already saw your December 31st, 2022. Amen. He already saw. Amen. He already created miracles for you in the month of March. He already created a breakthrough for you in the month of January. He already know your family member will be saved in the month of August. He already know there's a promotion waiting for you in the month of November. He knows everything. He makes everything beautiful in his time. In Jesus, you have abundance. He never fails. Jesus never fails. Your 2022 will never fail. Just trust in Jesus. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your understanding saying 2022, your business will collapse. Maybe someone in your family is very sick. Your 2022, many says, Pastor, we see everywhere death, death, death. But turn to Jesus Christ. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him. Your 2022, your destiny for greatness in Jesus Christ. Put your hand and give glory. Whatever happens, I am in Jesus Christ. Till my last breath. I am with Jesus, the living water. My legacy still continues. My prayer still continues. Powerful. Powerful. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Come with me to Isaiah 58 and verse 11. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought. These are challenging times. These are difficult times in the nation that we are living in. But the word of God is power. The word is miracle. The word is like a water. I'm going to speak to you for blessings shortly. Very quickly, but I just want to take you to the word. And strengthen your bones. Amen. You shall be like a watered garden. Wow. Amen. The first man that God created, Adam, was placed in a garden called Eden to have dominion. When Eden was a place where Adam and Eve was. But when Adam fall, Jesus comes into our life like second Adam. He becomes our living water. So water needs garden. And Jesus has placed us back in the garden of Eden. Amen. When you have the word, the Holy Spirit will sow that word. Amen. When you believe the word, what happened? The Holy Spirit takes, it's like a water. Then what you'll do? He'll water. He'll water. As you continue to believe, he'll water. So as you sow, the word of God into your life, into your family, into the church, into the nation, the Holy Spirit will water it. And soon there will be beautiful hours. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. I see green pastures all over Sramba Life Assembly. Your home is like a green pasture. Your ministry place is like a green pasture. Your business is like a green pasture. Hospitals that you're praying through is like a green pasture. Because the word of God is like a seed that falls on a good ground. Amen. And the Holy Spirit will water it. Only believe greater things. God is going to do through this church. Oh, Labanta. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose water do, waters do not fail. Won't you stand to your feet? I want you to stand because I'm going to release The blessing of Jesus Christ. He's the living water. I want you to stay connected. Oh, Tika Malahate. You're going to see through the word of God, Jesus is the living water. Hey, Aratakomo. Leandu Jesus was faithful then He's faithful now He's faithful then He's faithful now He's the living water Whatever you need Come to the river of God The water of life Hey Kula matakala hatu komonde Number one, the water. Rivers of living water, the Bible says. Rivers, that means more than one. But the source is Jesus Christ. And you'll flow with the river. I'm going to speak in Jesus' name. Fear is gone in Jesus' name. Worriness is gone. You know why? This is a glorious church as I started. The glorious church means what happens right now. The weight of glory is here. The weight of Jesus is His glory in this church. When the weight of God comes, whatever weight in the world that is pressing you down has been removed by the glory of God. Put your hand and give Jesus. Sometimes weariness can be a weight over our life. 
Sometimes sickness can be a weight in our life. Financial problem can be a weight. Relationship, family relationship can be a weight. Ministry, sometimes it can be a weight when it goes into problems after problems. But this morning, the weight of God's glory comes and removes all weight. Amen. What I see right now, the Holy Spirit is showing me, you are looking up. Wow, I see a beautiful, even on the screen, I see a beautiful water in the sea. So beautiful. Sound of many waters come from the voice of Jesus. As you behold the glory of God, the Bible says you are transformed. Transformed. Sickness, when it beholds the glory, sickness is transformed to good health in Jesus' name. When you're not enough and you turn to Jesus, the source of glory, the living water, you're not enough, will transform to more than enough. And that's what is my first blessing. Come with me to John chapter 2. In the next 10 minutes, I just want you to be stay connected. Those of you online, this is a miracle time. This is supernatural time. Come with me to John chapter 2. You're going to see the first miracle of Jesus Christ connected to water. John chapter 2. Come with me to John chapter 2. River of increase I speak right now. The water, the word of God brings increase, not decrease. The word of God brings increase. John chapter 2. Kula Mante Kalahata. John chapter 2. I'm not just going to read verse 7 and verse 8. I'm seeing right now the Holy Spirit is filling us. Amen. You are like a water pot. You are like a vessel. And the Holy Spirit can fill you with water that can bring increase. The word of God can bring increase. I want you to be connected now. If you want to see spiritual increase, be connected to the word. If you want to see miracles increase in the church connected to the word. Oh, Tikamalahata. If you want to see souls increase connected to the word. If you want to live long life, your days are going to be increased on earth, connect to the word. Oh, if you want to see financial increase, I'm speaking about increase right now, more and more. Jesus is the source of every increase in life. I speak this morning, multiplication is taking place for many of you here. Only believe because He's filling you. He's filling you. He's filling you right now. The Holy Spirit is filling you. You are thirsty. You can be filled by God. You can be filled. Tell the Holy Spirit, I need you more. I need you more. I need you. The fullness of God. The fullness of God. Oh, Ribantak, I speak John chapter 2. River of increase. Jesus said to them, and Jesus is speaking to you right now. Fill the water pots with water. You are the vessel. You are the water. And Jesus is filling you with water of life. Water of increase, the word of God. And they filled them up to brim. And he said to them, draw some out. Draw from Jesus Christ right now. You want a financial breakthrough? Draw from the financer, Jesus Christ. Oh, I pray finance. Breakthrough in Jesus' name. God can do what you cannot do. The word can do what you cannot do. And he said to them, draw some out now and take it to the master of the feast. And he took it. When the master of the feast had tasted 
the water was mint wine and did not know where it came from. You know the story. Amen. Amen. What is not enough in your life right now? You want to hear the voice of God? You've been praying, Jesus, I want to hear your voice of God. I want to get a revelation word. Father, let, let this gift of faith, the gift of miracles, the gift of healing, the gift of speaking tongues, interpretation of tongues, the gift of prophecy, God, so that I can be in your fullness. I want to see increase not only for me, my family, the church. Jesus can turn whatever you're not enough. Come on to my brother in the drum. Come on, I want you to roll the drum in Jesus' name. This is a sound of many waters. Let praise increase. Let worship increase. Let it increase. Oh, living water. Living water. Oh, not enough. It's done. Come on, come on, let's praise, let's praise, worship, worship, worship will increase through worshipers who worship in spirit and truth will increase, prayer will increase. Oh. The Holy Spirit says the prayer movement in Malaysia will increase in Jesus. Come on, brother in the drum. Come on, let praise increase. Movement will increase. I see churches coming together. Hey, Harvest, Malaysia, Malaysia, Malaysia become harvest of souls. Souls are increased in Malaysia. From the north to the south, east and west. Oh, the blood of Jesus, Jesus. Oh, the brother in green shirt. You, lift up your hand. Just lift up high. Jesus touches you right now. You have a new life in Jesus Christ. You, my brother. Yes, just stay wherever you are. Just lift up your hand. Jesus has come to give you a new life. Amen. You understand? In Tamil, Pude Valke. Amen. Jeeva Tandri Jesu is living in you. Oh, Tika Malahate. The old has gone. Forget the old. The new has come for you. Father, I speak in Jesus' name that this son will be appointed by God. You will be appointed. Oh, Tikamalahate. Not only appointed, even I speak right now, you are anointed and appointed by God. Put your hands and give Jesus a glory. So, this boy, God, as bring increase in your life. And I see your journey with Jesus, a new destiny Jesus gives you. Do you have family members who are here? Who's that? I see like, who's that to you? A brother, okay, come just stand next to your brother, your family, wow. Hallelujah. God will rewrite the story of your family. Your sister and brother, right? Your whole family, God can rewrite the story of your family is turned to glory in Jesus' name. Father, I pray, I pray, I pray. A testimony, a testimony, sister, your brother, your family is in the bowl of Jesus. Ho, ho, ho. Anoint them, appoint them. Increase, 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 increase. Oh, I, 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 I pray that I can go on on river increase. I'm going to move on to the next river. Stay connected with me. So if you want to increase, 
for Dr. Khan and even Sister Lee, Psalm 115, verse 14 and 15 is for you. The Lord will increase more and more and more and more and more and more. Both you and your children, Amen. you will be blessed by the Creator. God will give you increase amazingly. Dr. Khan, I see a river of increase. It begins with water. It begins with the word. So if you want your not enough to turn more than enough, turn to the word. The word never fails. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. Just give me a few more minutes. I go on, the Holy Spirit is saying, God will raise up true worshippers in this church, will increase in Jesus' name. Leaders will increase. Mission work in this church will increase. Home meetings will increase in Jesus' name. Prayer will increase now. Prayer time will increase. Wow. I'm just going to stay to the book of John. In the beginning was the word. The word is like water. The word is Jesus. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. So the word is water. How many of you took your bath before you come to church this morning? Siapa mandi? Sebelum datang ke gereja. Siapa tak mandi angkat tangan? When you take bath in the morning, you feel fresh, right? You feel so fresh. Wow. I know friends, tak mandi satu minggu pun ada. When I was in uh, Sabah and Sarawak, the mission team, even in Kalim, about in Borneo, there is a waterfall. Wow. As soon as you go under the waterfall, you feel so refreshed. The water of God will refresh you, will restore you, renew you. Wow. So this will be a glorious church. So, in the beginning was the word, the word is like a water, and the word was God, and the word was with God. So that's why the Bible can go on, uh, it's like a teaching for me, this series, but time is holding me back. You know, the Bible says three bare witness, and one of them is water in First Peter. You can read, water is powerful, and you're going to come into the stirrer of the water is Jesus, amen. When he stirs you, healing, cancer, bow down to Jesus. Kidney problem, bow down to Jesus. Heart problem, bow down to Jesus. Migraine, bow down to Jesus. Skin problem, bow down to Jesus. Oh, water, water, healing water. I've been praying and praying and I'm not healed. The Bible says, never stop praying. And this is what happens in John chapter 5. I'm going to speak about a river of healing. Very quickly as I read the scripture, you know, every word is like a water. So I'm going to speak John chapter 5 to you. All of you know. This beautiful story about a man who was paralyzed for 38 years. And what he was waiting? He was waiting an angel will come and stir the water in the pool of Bethesda. But when the water is stirred, only one person who jump in first is healed. Here comes Jesus. Hey! Here comes Jesus, the source of the water. The stir of the water comes right now. What happens? Jesus has power to heal many people. Amen. He's a good God with a big heart. 
is all powerful is all mighty miracles are happening now jesus was faithful then to create not enough turn to more than enough is faithful today he was faithful then and pull up better star you believe in him he is faithful today i'm going to read the scripture to you john chapter 5 the healing water will continue to flow in this church it will never stop it will never stop in this lay a great great multitude of sick people blind lame and paralyzed waiting for the moving of water the holy spirit is showing me many who are sick will come into this church many who are paralyzed and they are lame especially sickness will come into this church when they come they will be connected to the living water of healing put your hand and give jesus the glory believe believe Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Oh! Jesus is stirring you right now. He's stirring you right now. Oh, rekaba mama takaba bashe de flow ba my soul. Oh, yes, ye papa. Here la mata, you know healing is taking place. I know you know this powerful event. It took place 2000 years ago. I pray this place will be like a pool of Bethesda. Everyone who calls by prayer of faith is healed in Jesus name. Put your hand. There's a prophetic word. There's a prophetic word right now. Hey, hey, hey. word for this church healing will continuously flow and this word is for this church James chapter 5 and verse 15 this word says James chapter 5 and verse 15 says and the prayer of faith when your faith is in the word and the prayer of faith will save the sick and the lord will raise him up in Jesus name the promise never fail Amen 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 So I want you to believe water yeah it brings healing and moving on and the holy spirit is showing me your destiny is in Jesus Christ immediately right now immediately I see some people who are here even watching through online because storms of life has stop you from moving into your destiny storms can be anything but something powerful happen I'm going to prophetically declare to the bible says what is impossible for you is possible with god Amen. Oh, it's a powerful time. Your destiny, your destiny is going to walk on water. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. You are going to do the impossible. So the world will know this is God in your destiny. In your destiny. This is God. This is God. I see many of you destiny in your workplace, in your business. Where the Bible is showing me the word of God come with me to John chapter 6 the word is your destiny like a water in John chapter 6 and you know verse you know the story because of time i i i don't want to go through it was one to was 21 here jesus walked on water a ordinary man like peter says jesus command me to walk on water he asked jesus for a word and jesus said no when you ask and speak to jesus 
he never say no he will say come to the river of life jesus or peter come before you make your decision for your destiny the holy spirit is saying before you resign your job or even before you quit your business or you're looking for a new job a new business ask jesus for a word first ask him for a word peter ask jesus for a word command me oh to come and concerning your future your marriage it's a very powerful time ask jesus for a word before you make that decision concerning your study ask jesus for a word for your career i see some of you for your children future and your studies as a parent you can ask for a word he is the source ask for a word is concerning your destiny amen and jesus walked on water amen do you know there are many angels all around this place amen we are trained in this world everywhere we turn to hantu hantu pay goes 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 everywhere we see somebody in white in midnight twelve o'clock you're driving your car you see a white figure hantu goes hey 2000 years ago jesus was walking on water the disciples say he was a ghost but it was jesus turn your mouth and speak more of angels that i will see on earth put your hand and give jesus the glory the bible says the bible that i read says in psalms 91 he sent for an angel to protect malaysia the more angels out there if you are hungry for jesus you will see angels and you will know hey this is angels all oh, i declare angels in your home those of you who are watching through online open heaven means angels are descending and ascending hey 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 see right now the boat in john chapter six. i'm just going to end very quickly i know i'm taking much of a time my third river is called river of acceleration no more delay amen you will reach your destiny immediately but the key is you must be in the boat with jesus christ you know sometimes some water the current is very fast when i was in kapet doing a ministry there from cebu 3 hours i would take a boat to go to kapet but sometime not 3 hours within 2 hours i reach you know why the current of the water is fast in the same manner here there were storms wind strong wind and jesus walked on water and immediately got into the boat the bible says in john here i'm coming to my third and finally i go to the fourth blessing john chapter 6 and verse 21 says then they willingly receive him in the boat boat is on the water and who is the boat jesus which boat are you in if jesus is in your boat the bible says and immediately the boat was at the land where they were going immediately dengan cepat right now lift up your hands lift up your hands jesus is in your boat slumber life assembly is in the boat the captain of the boat is jesus he is the living water the destiny of this church immediately immediately whatever destiny you will cross over oh takamanda immediately and here i'm coming to an end this is a church will raise up strong disciples hey mataka mato river of fruitfulness 
you will understand river wherever it goes fresh water from the river produce fruitfulness the longest river in the world how many of you know geography what is the longest river in the world sungai klang <laughs> the longest river in the world is the amazon river you know i used to fly in the airlines from south africa and i fly to argentina we had a glimpse of seeing the river and this river is alive fresh water the water in this river it give life to many that's why you see thick jungles strong jungles in south america through this river it produce fruits to all that is connected when you are connected to the river of god your life will produce fruit if you abide with jesus if you dwell with jesus if you remain your life will be fruitful outside there no fruit you know we saw many fruits for my family oh we saw double promotion in every area in this time of challenge we saw the fruits of god in the church in the ministry powerful i'm just going to end with this scripture for you because i know this is a disciple church church a uh, john chapter 6 everything in the book of john yeah i'm just going to give you I, I, I know I've taken some time, but I just want to bless with you with this word in John chapter six. Now, because of time, I'm just going to go John chapter fifteen. John chapter fifteen. John chapter fifteen. Hallelujah. Remain in the river. Remain. Be connected to the water of life. Be connected to the word. dwell in the word dwell in the water of god you know why the bible says in john chapter 15 no this message you can hear again and again online so i just want you to those of you who are here just say focus right now cuz something powerful is how i prayed for the brother all of you are here you are anointed and appointed by god amen not only anointing fill me fill me fill me fill me fill me fill me for what jesus fill you so that he can use you come on put your hand you can be a blessing to someone out there you can give life to someone out there someone is crying out there someone is in fear somebody is broken down this morning there's a family that's crying for help he fills you this water will give life to others and i like to read this john chapter 15 and verse 7 and 8 if you abide in me and my words abide in you you will ask what you desire what you desire what you desire this is the living water speaking what you desire my sister the holy spirit is talking to you right now if Psalms 37 and verse 4 lift up your hand sister you yeah lift up your hand God will grant the desire of your heart Psalms 37 verse 4 Psalm 20 and verse 4 will fulfill the plans he'll grant the desire I'm seeing you're going deeper with Jesus closer with God your desire is not for yourself Your desire is for family, your desire is for the church, your desire is for the nation. Your call. Your call. God will grant the desire. Hey, tikamala hato. Must aid as I continue to read here now. By this my father is glorified. That you bear much fruit. So you will be my disciple. Amen. Put your hands and give Jesus the glory. Put your hands and Jesus the glory. Like I say, the Bible, the word has declared Sramban Life Assembly is a glorious church, a church of disciples. A church. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. I just want to end with this. If you desire to be used by God, You know why? I see the anointing of God is resting upon Dr. Kwan, the leaders of this church. If you 
you are anointed. And at the same time, I'm seeing appointment. You know, as you go for a job, your employer, he will give you the appointment letter. These are all your work responsibility. These are all your benefits. In the same manner, I see appointment return the plans of God for your life. But you need to respond. The disciple responded. If you are the one that the Holy Spirit can fill you so that you can give life to somebody. You know, Christianity is not about us, me, I. No. Jesus came to give life. He came to give life. You carry something powerful in you. You can help someone out there to fulfill their dream. You can be a blessing for someone in your workplace, in your business, maybe your friends who are sick. And the appointment letter says, you carry the blessing, the water of life, Jesus. If you are the one, lift up your hands. All those of you who are watching through online, the Holy Spirit can fill you anoint you you are the disciple who bears fruits and now he comes with an appointment wow many of you are responding right now respond to the source of water of life Jesus Christ Right now, right now, just another 30 seconds, just be connected. Prayer, prayer. There's going to be a movement of prayer in this church. This church will begin to pray for Negri Simbilan, will begin to pray for states in Malaysia, will pray for nations all around. A prayer movement, a prayer awakening. Many of you will be connected and through prayer this church will be fruitful in Jesus name, in Jesus name God bless you, God bless you Hallelujah Let's give another round of applause for our God, Almighty God Brothers and sisters, the meeting is over, I know it's uh, past the uh, uh, time already, but you have any urgent request or any urgent prayer, you can come for uh, uh, Pastor. You pray for you. Otherwise, may our good Lord bless us and keep us. May He make your His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift out His countenance and give you the shalom. Hallelujah. God bless all of us. Amen. Just come back for another section this week. Same time, same place. God bless you. Have a wonderful, blessed Sabbath. God bless all. the goodness of God.